Hello, my name is Gloria Wu and I'm from the Leslie Dan Faculty of Pharmacy at the University of Toronto. On behalf of my co-authors, I will present the video abstract for our article published in a 2010 issue of Gastroenterology, titled Tenofovir and Tecovir are the most effective antiviral agents for chronic hepatitis B, a systematic review and Bayesian meta-analysis. This research was conducted to evaluate the relative efficacies of the first 12 months of treatment for chronic hepatitis B. Since traditional approaches to meta-analyses normally only allow for two different treatments to be compared at a time, we chose to use Bayesian mixed treatment comparison meta-analyses, which allows for multiple direct and indirect comparisons to be performed simultaneously. In addition, using this approach, we are able to determine the predicted probability of an outcome following treatment, as well as rank the different treatments based on their relative efficacy to one another. To determine the most effective treatment, we first performed a systematic review of all published randomized controlled trials of chronic hepatitis B in treatment-naive patients. We limited our study to the first year of treatment for pegylated interferon, lamivudine, adefavir, and tecavir, telbivudine, and tenofovir as a of monotherapy or combination therapy. Surrogate outcomes were used to evaluate the relative efficacy since we only collected data for the first year of treatment. So the surrogate outcomes for hepatitis B and positive patients were HPV undetectability, ALT normalization, hepatitis B e antigen seroconversion and e antigen loss, hepatitis B surface antigen loss, and histological improvement of the liver. In hepatitis B e antigen negative patients, we assessed HPV DNA undetectability, ALT normalization, and histological improvement of the liver. We entered the data collected from our systematic review into a Bayesian random effects mixed treatment comparison meta analysis model. Randomized controlled trial data was entered into the model as binary data. So for example, in randomized controlled trial number one, the number of responders on treatment A would be signified by RA, and the number of patients given treatment A would be NA. Similarly, for treatment B, the number of responders on treatment B would be RB, and the number of patients given treatment B would be NB. The data from all randomized controlled trials on a single error surrogate outcome would be entered into the model, which will directly compare each of the treatments. In this example, the mixed treatment comparison model directly compares A versus B and B versus C, which is observed in each of the randomized controlled trials. Using this data, the model is able to calculate the indirect treatment effect of A versus C. In addition, the predicted probability of an outcome of the common comparator, in this case treatment B, is also calculated. When we bring together the indirect treatment effects of A versus C and the predicted probability of an outcome on treatment B, we're able to determine the predicted probability of an outcome on treatment A, B, or C. The key findings of our studies are as follows. In hepatitis B e antigen positive patients, tenofovir was most effective in inducing undetectable HBV DNA levels, the normalization of ALT levels, e antigen C or conversion, and hepatitis B surface antigen loss. Tenofovir ranked third in histological improvement of the liver. And tecavir was most effective in improving liver histology and was ranked second for inducing undetectable HBV DNA, normalization of ALT levels, and was ranked third for reducing hepatitis B surface antigen loss. In hepatitis B e antigen negative patients, tenofovir was most effective in inducing undetectable levels of HPV DNA and improving liver histology. Tenofovir ranks second for the normalization of AOT levels. In conclusion, in the first year of treatment, tenofovir and tecavir are the most potent oral antiviral agents for hepatitis B e antigen positive patients, while tenofovir is most effective in hepatitis B e antigen negative patients. The study offers some insight into the relative benefits of drugs at one year. Since many of the treatments are taken for much longer and perhaps a lifetime, further investigation using heart outcomes such as liver cancer, liver failure, and death should be evaluated for further research. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video abstract. For further detail on this topic, please refer to our article in the 2010 issue of Gastroenterology.